morning uh, so we are ha harvesting cells today I just came from outside uh, from uh, my uh, cell builder uh, and I'll show you the results of uh, all the cells that we got uh, last Saturday so I will uh, put it on in the incubator for Tuesday uh, so there they are uh, I'm so happy with the my percentage of the cells so it's been 10 years there's still uh, some are not accepted but it's you know the sizes and um, the quality of the cells is important we are selling so i'm doing my really best to uh, do the quality and uh, of course for our own selves we have uh, 10,000 hives um, so uh, but we have uh, big customers as well for the cells so there they're quite big and long and um, so I'll put first in the incubator before I'll put in the uh, foam so there are hips they are really hips they're I think 600 600 cells you see they're all big there they are all big and um, quality cells there so it's been a learning uh, process for me I learn every year doing uh, queen rearing so commercially I'm doing uh, uh, 10 years so um, you improve every year. You learn every year. Sometimes it's frustrating. So what I'm showing you now is uh, a really good percentage and good um, uh, good acceptance, but it's. The first time I did it, it's pro very frustrating until um, until I have uh, I have more experience and uh, researching and uh, learning from other beekeepers. I I know a lot of uh, Queen River in our area and the different part of New Zealand anyway. So yeah some connection with other beekeepers will help you a lot with the and uh but most likely i learned from myself because the company that i worked before um uh i mean our previous owner before they sold the business uh, they are not um they are not in queen rearing so we introduced queen rearing uh and then uh i learned from from that uh, process but uh, which is really nice because in beekeeping you learn uh, every year it depends also with the weather and uh, uh, the bees and the breed as well so yeah um, it's a learning process for me and um, so uh, the, the job for me now is quicker not before like uh, it's take me a while to grab and you know but now it's okay and then uh, uh, it's it's very rewarding in doing uh, queen rearing uh, it's for me queens is the heart of the hive and uh, I'm very grateful this season and previous seasons uh, last season we have a really uh, good crop sometimes we uh, not only with the uh, season itself but uh, how we do it 
and yeah we have a really good season this year and we are really happy and of course uh, uh, that's a very very uh, good teamwork uh, teamwork from the beekeepers in the queen uh, rearing as well so um, in beekeeping it's it's very rewarding when you work as a team and uh, you produce good honey and produce good queen and uh, it's very um, uh, uh, self-rewarding uh, it's like you feel oh uh, our goals is uh, met and because we did we did a uh, good job you know from the beginning until the uh, uh, honey flow so yeah so uh, keep doing queen rearing uh, it's a matter of uh, uh, loving what you do so that uh, it's for you learn as well and uh, uh, problem comes is just uh, accepting the challenges and uh, and improve yourself uh, uh, that's most important um, so yeah see you next time